guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the next uh, whole collection for the pan update. I'm very excited to share with you the progress as always and also today we are going to discuss the refresh. I believe the refresh, most people are doing it in July but since my update goes up so late in June I thought that I might as well just make this the refresh. So that's what I'm going to do. I I'm going to talk if I want to actually refresh any products and yes where I am at all of my updates. But before I jump into that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just start talking about the first item. So I'm going to start talking about the eyeshadows that are in the project and I'm going to start with the one that's been in here the longest and then kind of move down the list. So the first eyeshadow that I have to talk about is this single right here. It is actually from a Colourpop palette but I have since depotted it and it's originally from the Elemental Surprise palette in the shade Labyrinth. So this right here is where I was with this eyeshadow last month and my goal with this is to hit pan on it like it is with most of eyeshadows in this project and this right here is where I am today. So still no pan as you can see but there is a pretty significant dip in this eyeshadow. I honestly should just have reached for this more in the past month. I honestly haven't reached for this that much in the last two months. I only reached for this five times in the last month and prior to that I used it three times and then 13. So we are currently at 21 uses which is pretty decent but again I'm not at pan yet so I think it will definitely take a quite a few more uses and yeah I just feel like this is just not the type of shade that I am loving at the moment. It's too mauve tone to use in summer in my opinion. But I definitely am wearing kind of more neutral or uh, cool tone looks a little, little bit as well. Like today for example I'm wearing more of a cool tone look. So I feel like there will definitely be times when I want to reach for this in the next month and I'm really really hoping to have pan on it by then. The next eyeshadow that I have is one that I've rolled in at last update and this comes from my Firm Eyes palette again from Colourpop in the shade Lomo. And this is just a bright red, this is where I was when I rolled it in and this eyeshadow was basically untouched when it was rolled into the project. But I'm happy to report that this is where I am today so I was able to pan after 11 uses on this eyeshadow. When I used this I mainly used this all over my lid and then blended up to my crease so I did use a lot of this eyeshadow every time I used it and I did use it a lot as a base and topped it with other eyeshadows. The next eyeshadow that I'm going to talk about actually paired beautifully with this um, eyeshadow. I might pop in a picture when I talk about the last eyeshadow. Or maybe Let me just put it, pop it in now because I feel like this is a beautiful like look that I created where I actually rocked all three of these eyeshadows um, and it did create this kind of mauve tone and pairing the next eyeshadow I'm going to show you on top of this almost created like a lilac-y mauve kind of shade which was beautiful. So that was how I toned this eyeshadow down quite a lot in this month but it also created some sunset look with it and just like some kind of red tone look as well so 11 uses it took to hit pan and I'm very excited to roll this out and then that last eyeshadow I mentioned comes from NARS and this is one of the dual intensity eyeshadows in the shade Calistro this is a beautiful kind of sparkly kind of taupey silver shade and this is where I was when I introduced this eyeshadow and again I do want it pan on it and this right here is where I am today so I have used this 10 times in the past month, so you can definitely see that there is a dip starting to form, but I'm not near pan yet. Um, again, this is more of a cool tone shade, but I feel like I have found ways to use it. But um, I'm not sure how much I will get to use out of this now when I have rolled that red shade out, but I'm sure I can kind of find something similar to do with it, or top on top of other shades, or even just use it kind of as a pop um, on my kind of lower lash liner right here. I have used it a couple of times like that. So... I don't know if I'm going to pan on this in this next month. I don't know how deep these pans are. And also I know that there's like more of a grid pattern underneath here. So I just have to keep an eye on when I do a pan on it. Because it's usually not as easy to spot as when you have like a regular pan. So that is where I am with this eyeshadow. I'm going to continue working on it. And hopefully be able to roll this out next month. Next up we have a product that has been in since the beginning of this project. And this is definitely a more of a long haul product and I use this almost every single day I do my makeup and that is my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. Um, I have mentioned before that I mainly use this as an eye primer now and it works really well for me like that. And in the past month I have used this 37 times. Granted that there has been slightly more than a month since my last update because I filmed that I think about a week before it went up. So it definitely has been a bit longer than a month but uh, anyway with this product like I said I have used this 37 times and 
this right here is where my progress is so pretty consistent progress i might have had a little bit more progress this month compared to like the last two months but um yeah i'm getting closer to the end especially if you compare it to where we were when we started but i still have a few more months to go and this might be one that stays in until the end of the project but i am happy to continue working on it and this was one that i was thinking about vetoing out uh, this month for the refresh but I really should get this out of my collection because it is quite old and I have found a way to use this every single day now so even though it is one that I will probably stay in here for a bit longer I don't mind having it in a project so I think I'm gonna keep this in but the progress is definitely slow and steady. So the only kind of real base product that I have in this project is this one right here which is one that I rolled in two months ago. This one is the Sunbeam from Benefit and my goal with this is to use it 50 times and in the first month I had used this 10 times which I mean it was decent but it wasn't great but in the past month I'm happy to report that I actually reached with this an additional 25 times for a total of 35. So I'm very very happy with that and I'm only 15 uses away to roll this out and I definitely think I'll be able to hit that goal in the next month. How I've been reaching for this is basically to mix in with my foundation mainly because it is like a highlighter but it is a bit too deep for me at the moment as you can see it is beautiful when I have a bit more of a tan on my cheekbones and I love using this when I'm on holiday but um, right now it mainly just works as a mixer or kind of underneath my foundation like right here for glow but on its own it's a bit too deep for me at the moment but um, I definitely like I said think I will be able to get those last 15 uses in in the next month. The next one I have to talk about is this eyeliner right here. I rolled this in at the last update as well and this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes uh, Waterproof Cold Cut Gel in the shade Taupe. With this one my goal is to wear this down to the kind of wording scandal, like scandal eyes right there. And I completely forgot to mark this on a piece of paper last update so I don't have any progress but I have used this eyeliner five times in the past month. And with this one I have actually decided to put this out for the refresh. And the reason for that is, is I like this product and I'm happy that I rolled it in because it made me actually realize that this is a pretty beautiful eyeliner and it's also very unique in my collection but it's just not the right time of year to reach for this kind of shade. It's too cool tone to go with a lot of the warm tone looks that I'm panning at the moment. So because of that I am going to veto this out and roll something else in its place but I will definitely make a mental note to reach for this more when we get to autumn and winter because it is like I said beautiful beautiful eyeliner and I definitely want to get some more use out of it. Next up we have another product that I rolled in a last update and that is my clear brow gel from Anastasia. As you can see the packaging is completely rubbed off. I have had this for a rather long time in my collection so it's time to use this up. I mean it's not been too too long maybe like a year and a half ish. Um, but yeah, I do love this uh, brow gel, it's my absolute favourite and with this one I have used it 37 times again in the past month. I'm wearing it today, I love this uh, brow gel. I was doing the soap brow method quite a lot before rolling this in but since I have this in my product now I've been going back to my kind of traditional brow method and I might go back to soap brows when I finish this up but my goal with this is to finish it and I'm definitely getting lower but I usually take out a stopper of these as well. This is what the wand look, looks like when I pull it out so it's not too much product coming out of the wand anymore but like I said I will probably put a lot of the stopper on of this one when I get close to finishing it. So it will definitely stay in for at least another full month, maybe even two. So the remaining three products are lip products which are right here. I'm going to start with the one that's been in the longest which is my Chanel Rouge Allure Ink in La Creative. This one has been in for five months now so it's been in for a very very long time but since it is more of a coral shade I didn't use it too much in the beginning of the year but in the last kind of couple of months I definitely stepped up my usage on this. In the last month I had 24 uses to go to hit my goal and I am happy to report that I did use this 24 times in the past month. I actually finished it up or like I used it the 50 times very early on in the month. I feel like it's been ages since I used this last um, because I really really focused on in on it in the first maybe like week and a half and I did hit my goal at that point. So I am happy to roll this out and roll something else in especially since this been in for so long in this project but also I'm happy that I was able to get some use out of this product because it was a product that wasn't very well used in my collection. So it is definitely more used now and it's definitely something that I kind of rediscovered in my collection. I really really enjoy this. 
So I'm sure that I will reach for this more in the upcoming kind of summer months. And I am happy that this was um, ultimately rolled into this project. The next product that I have that has been in for a couple months now is my lip liner from Maybelline. This is the Gigi Hadid and Maybelline collaboration uh, in the shade Austin. So this is like an orangey red, I'm going to show you it in a second. Uh, and at the last month I had only used it 7 times and my goal with this is to use it 30 times. So I still have quite a long way to go. Um, but I am actually really happy to report that I was able to finish this completely. So this is what it looks like, you can see the colour in there. But I did finish this up yesterday actually. And I'm trying to like screw this up, but like, or like roll this up, but it's not coming up. So I did finish this completely and it took me 26 uses to finish this up. So I used it 19 times in the past month and then it was finished. And I did mention when I rolled this in that I might finish it before I hit the 30 uses, but I am really, really surprised. Um, granted though, when I used this, I did mainly apply it kind of all over my lip as a base and topped it up with a red lipstick. Um, so I used quite a lot every time I used it, but even then I did finish the top rather quickly, but I am so excited to have another lip liner out of my collection. Then the last product is one that I rolled in at the last update, and that is my uh, KVD Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ophelia. I really, really enjoy this shade. Um, it's a beautiful kind of nude on me and again my goal with this is to reach for this 50 times and I am really surprised with my progress because I actually reached for this 29 times already in the month of uh, June so I did do really really well on this and I only have 21 uses left to go on this and I definitely think that shouldn't be a problem to hit in the next month because this has been like a really nice go-to shade when I go out and about because since it is a liquid lipstick it lasts pretty well under a mask uh, but then it's also like a really beautiful color, it's a nude, so if I go for dinner for example, it wears down pretty nicely because it, it's not too contrasting to my own lip color. And it's just been a really nice, I don't have to think about it option when I go out and about. So yeah, I don't think it will have any problems hitting my goal on this in the next month and yeah, it will stay in for hopefully just one more month. Uh, so since I hit goal on three products and I'm vetoing out that lip liner, I will roll in four new items in this update which is really exciting. As you know, my only kind of rules in this product is that I can only have max three products from each product category, so like lip products, eyeshadows, things like that. So I did also mention in the last update that my spreadsheet wasn't completely up to date, but I have spent so long uploading all of my kind of sheets in my spreadsheet and I think probably I probably spent like six hours doing it it took so long because I had a lot of products that I needed to take out and add in uh, so yeah it's definitely up to date now uh, so I will go through everything and randomize and at the moment I have 953 things to pull from I'm gonna put in the numbers in my randomizer and we're gonna randomize the first number so we have between 1 and 953 and the first number that we get is gonna be number 612. So my camera just cut out, um, I think the camera was overheated for a little bit um, and I don't know if you call it on camera but the number that I got was 612 and that is one of my eyeshadows from Cleona in the shade Gloaming so I'm very excited to pull that in um, and usually with my Cleona shades I want the usage goal rather than it pan so I'll probably put a usage goal on it for 15 but let's just go through that when I pull that shade in. So let's just go and run with the next shade and since we do have um, Three eyeshadows now, I will change my numbers. So the minimum will now be 690, which is the first number of my eyeshadows, which is my eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and randomize the next number. And that's gonna be 894. Okay, so 894 is one of my KVD uh, liquid lipsticks again, but this one is in the shade Berlin. So I'm excited to pull that one in. I probably won't put as high of a usage goal as I have with the other one because it's more of a bright shade. But that is the second item. The third item I'm rolling in is going to be number 869. Okay, so 869 is one of my bullet lipsticks. And this one is from Burberry in the shade T-Rose. So that also means that I now have three lip products in this project. So I'm going to change my numbers again. And I'm going to go to the last number before my lipsticks, which is... Uh, 797 which is my setting sprays so that is my kind of final numbers and I'm going to pull in the final item to work on and that is going to be 707 Ooh, okay so 707 is actually one of my mascaras this one comes from the body shop and it's the super volume mascara this is like the only mascara that I have that isn't waterproof which is why I haven't really used it 
But um, yeah, I'm going to pull that in and kind of see what I want to do with that one. But that is going to be the final product. So I'm going to go and gather those four and I will be right back. So I'm back and I have my products. And I have actually opened up the mascara just to check. And it is really, really dried out. And it also smells a tiny bit like it's gone bad. It just doesn't really smell that great anymore. And like I haven't really used this much, but it's been open for a while. So I do suspect that this has actually gone bad. Um, so I don't want to risk it since this goes on my eyes and I have had really sensitive eyes re recently anyway because of hay fever So I don't want to gonna put this on my eyes So I will probably declutter this instead uh, and because I've made a decision now I need to roll something else in for this So I'm gonna go ahead and randomize one new number. I still have my spreadsheets in front of me But I'm gonna go ahead and randomize one more so the actual last number that we're gonna work on is 766. Okay, so this is very exciting actually. I rolled in one of my bronzers and this is actually my newest bronzer in my collection. It comes from the Hourglass Ghost Palette, which I picked up last month. And the color that I rolled in is the Eternal Bronze Light. So we'll go and get that palette and then we're gonna talk about all of the products. So I'm back and I have all of my products. Let's just start with the eyeshadow that I pulled in. So the eyeshadow that I rolled in comes from Cleona and it is in the shade Gloaming. So this is one of their glitter iridescent shades. Um, it is one of their multichromes. So it's probably just going to look basically white on camera. I think you can probably see like the pink shift slightly on camera. But to me it looks like lime green and then to pink to purple. And it's such a stunning shade. I will swatch it for you so you can see. But I don't know if you will pick it up on my finger. But like it's, it's such a shifty shade. Like to you it definitely looks more kind of purpley but to me it looks like lime green almost even blue it's such a shifty shade it's one of the more shifty kind of iridescent shades from them but i will swatch this out so you can see what it looks like and there you have gloaming like i said i don't know if you will be able to catch the shift on camera but there's so many kind of multicolored sparkles in here and it's an amazing shade i think this will be perfect to use as like a topper shade and yeah i it's just stunning. I'm looking at it now. It's so fascinating. It goes from like a pink to green. Um, and yeah, it definitely has maybe some even some blue in there. And then definitely a bit of purple too. So it's a really, really shifty shade. And I am so excited to roll in another Cleona shade. And like I said, my goal with this is to use it 15 times. Because since I cherish my Cleona shade so much, I don't want to necessarily pan on them. So 15 uses is enough for me. And that's what I'm going to do with this one. And I think this would either work beautifully as a topper shade on top of other shades on my eyes. Or as an inner corner highlight. So yeah, I'm very excited to pull this in. And play around with some more of my Cleona shades. Let's go to the face product next. Which was the Hourglass palette that I just rolled in. And like I said, this is brand new to me. I picked this up last month, so it's only been used a handful of times. I think the shades that I've reached for so far is this blush right here. I use for the highlighter as well as the bronzer. So the bronzer is actually one of the shades that I have reached for. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And first of all, I am panning a different bronzer. And also, this is brand new to me. So I don't want to put in a goal to finish or hit pan on it. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is put a usage goal of 30 on this. I usually put 50 on base products, but since I am paying a different bronzer as well, I don't want to distract too much from that. So I will put the usage goal on 30, and I think with 30 uses, I will still be able to get a decent kind of feel for this palette and that shade. So that is what I'm going to do for this bronzer right here. And there you have that bronzer shade swatched out. It's definitely more of a light bronzer, so I think this will be really nice now when I'm still not as my tannest uh, or even to use even maybe blend out that other bronzer because this is a bit deeper than this one so yeah that is the second shade then we have the two lip products that i rolled in we're gonna start with the liquid lipstick so this one again is from kvd and it is in berlin which is this beautiful kind of pinky coral shade so with that liquid lipstick i put 50 uses but i think since this is a brighter shade i will only put 30 uses on this i mean it's still pretty high but um, yeah, I will put 30 uses for this liquid lipstick and I think I should be able to hit that goal throughout summer And since this is like the perfect shade to use this time of year I'm not too worried about it, but I definitely think this will stay in for at least two months So um, yeah, I'm excited to work on it though because I definitely don't reach for my liquid lipsticks That often and if you saw my latest kind of couple of videos, you know that I decluttered a lot of my liquid lips recently, so I'm excited to reach for the ones that I still have in my collection, and this is one of them. And there you can see Berlin swatched out on my hand. Then the final lipstick that I rolled in is my one and only Burberry lipstick. I did have one before, but I did give that away to my mom because I didn't love it that much. Uh, but this one is in the shade T Rose, which is this beautiful 
kind of pinky nude shade it looks like this i will swatch this as well so you can see what it looks like but since this is more of a wearable shade as well as a boot lipstick i think i'm going to put the used to go on 50 on this again and that is what it looks like it's another kind of beautiful summer shade it's actually like the more wearable kind of color of this it's a bit more it's a bit lighter and it's also a bit kind of a bit more pink i think but it's very very similar in tone um, and again, I think it's a beautiful shade to reach for this time of year. So I did end up swatching out the rest of the items as well. So we have the liquid lipstick from KVD in the shade Ophelia. We have that sunbeam highlighter from Benefit. We have the shade Mademoiselle from the Elemental Surprise palette by Colourpop. And then lastly, the shade Calistro from Lars in the Dual Intensity eyeshadow. So that is basically the colour story that I'm going to work on. It's a really, really beautiful one and I'm excited to roll in the shades that I did. I'm very kind of happy with all of the things I rolled in this month. And then I also do have these two items here, which I didn't swatch because obviously they use kind of more basic products. So we have the concealer as well as the eyebrow gel. So that is where I am with all of the products. I really, really hope you enjoyed this update. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And otherwise, I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.